Ah. I have an opponent. That's good. Bishop f4. London system. Has won me many a... Many a nice game. And... Hopefully... Good thing about it is that you, sometimes you can win model games with it. So I will try to make that happen. That will be my, my goal for, for this particular game. Let's see how much he, uh, he knows about this stuff. Okay, I don't know if his plan is bishop a6. Um, I'm going to go knight a5. It's not a great move in case he goes bishop d b7, which he did. So that was a bit of a bummer. I was hoping for uh, bishop a6 because then I would just win a tempo. But now I have to do this, which is really not a good line. But what can you do? So the point is of my previous move is that he had a positional threat of going uh, knight uh, f5, then if after my bishop moves to f2, bishop e7, followed by knight d6, occupying the square in e4. And uh, queen b1 is an extremely ugly way of, of uh, preventing that, but it's uh, probably the, uh, the, only, the only reasonable way. So a5 is preparing bishop a5 and a bishop a exchange. Uh, but it's probably not quite concrete enough. Okay, I'm gonna try and play for the audience a bit with bishop g5. Now my plan is h4. It's probably not too great, but trying to... Uh, to play to the crowd for once. That's what you want, right? None of these boring endings. All the nonsense you've seen so far. Just pure brute force attack. I think 94 is a bit desperate. There was no there was no need, particular need for such for such measures. He can go F6 which doesn't win a piece because um, of knight g6, hg, queen e6, rook f7, h5. Then after gh, I can go bishop f h4. Uh, but even the win of a piece, I don't think would have made him happy if actually he'd have um, he'd have won it. So. Um, so yeah, knight e4 wasn't very good and. No, I'm uh, I'm a pawn up with uh, with a positional advantage to boot. Yeah, problem here is that I really want to go long castles because H G H G wins, but he has Bishop G five H G and Queen G five, and I cannot cannot allow myself to play that primitively for tricks, so I'm just gonna keep it simple. And uh, try and try and mate him in a more prosaic way. Rook is coming to g3. And uh, yeah. F5 felt kind of forced at some point, but now he's losing a second pawn and uh, and the game. And that's it. Two pawns up. One more. In, two pawns up in the rook ending, and um, the game should be in the bag. Okay.